Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing a game I keep forgetting the name of. Now, if I remember correctly, I should be one coin away. I'm two coins away. Okay, so Screech's squawkings, like, like we're gonna have the croc level, right? Like, considering this game has been a port up to now, I figured it'd be like Screech's sprint and then K. Roll's fight. There's a possibility that Carol does give a crim coin this time to give this any sort of sense. Well, let's check out the flying croc that we can't see. It's the ghost croc! There we go. Yeah, Screech of Sprint. <laughs> I love the hyper cartoony clouds next to this 3D render mess of the flying croc. It's pretty good. Alright, well, yeah, this is uh, Screech of Sprint. Well, it's similar to it, at the very least. There's a bug. I don't know, maybe there's a bonus in any of these, I just don't know, don't know where I go. We got a level before the race, it's full of wasps, you know. Okay, so you're supposed to do this the other way around? Got it. I don't know, that felt like a good idea to me, it just did. Oh, here's, here's a bonus, by the way. <laughs> Find a token! Is it here? Is it here? Whoa, no, that's a bug, that's a token. I'm just bouncing around here, wasting my time. Is it here? Not yet. Is it uh, down here? Like, I'm just kind of going down. There might be, like, like... Surprise beetle ambush! <sighs> hey! Oh, whoops. Well, that was clumsy. But I got to try again immediately here. So here we go. Let's find a token. Whoa, is it here? You pause there, and I can plainly see that I'm not touching anything. <laughs> so... You're excited. <laughs> like, dang it! See, there, I clearly touched a bug with my chin, so, like, I get it. Alright, 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 alright. See, I did it once, now I'm, I'm kind of goofing here. I'm gonna get that token. Ah, bug, it's so scary. Just get out of here, buggy. Whoa, you're still alive. So, yeah, I can just drop down here. There's another bug. There's another bee. There's more bee shenanigans and platforming. Get out of here, bug. There we go. Yeah, that's, yeah, 46. We're one off. So either there's a second new bonus here somewhere, or Captain K. Rool is the one boss that, you know, there's nothing in this hole, by the way. But Captain K. Rool actually gives you a creme coin. Well, I got all the bonuses <laughs> in this video alone. I think you can tell what thoughts are inside my brain zone. This is like, I don't know if the special world, like, you unlock it all at one shot. Is it gonna be like a full actual, dang it, full actual world? Or is it gonna be like, just like, um, like the boss? Like, it feels weird to me that you'd unlock a full world like that after the end, but I mean, that's what pose games are. So I guess it's not that unusual. That guy just fell off. He's, oh jeez. Okay, let's take our time and observe how this bee moves. Whoa! Moves from left to right. I can't believe it. Alright, I'm safe above it. I can fall down here probably. Yeah, I got a one up. Just This looks a lot like the original bonus game, actually. Alright, here's a midpoint. That's just sad. Yeah, there's nothing down any of these. I haven't found the... BK coin yet, but again, before I start just throwing myself into danger, just, just beat the level normally. It's not there. Happy? You know it. Clap those hands. Alright, here we go! Whoa, the race is going to go- whoa, we're just going right in, huh? Alright. Uh, wow, you even get your special music. Alright, well there's a K, there's a B in the face, got it. All useful information. Uh, oh, whoops, and yeah, because I'm going fast, I'm going fast. The camera is like right next to my parrot face, so that's fun. Alright, so yeah, look, like, I think, the, I don't know if the real game is better than this about this, maybe, maybe you just, that's why the bananas are there to, to guide you, but even then, you know, like, here you get a split path, and it's very scary. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. Alright, we're going down this path here, and, uh, 
I went too down low. It happens. It happens. Maybe you are not supposed to just go turbo zone like this and take your time more. Ugh, take your time in a race? Ridiculous. Whoops! I don't know. Ugh, dang it. Don't exaggerate. Oh, I know why I was holding downs, because I wanted to do, like, uh, parallel swimming like that, like in Smooth. It's funny sometimes how my, 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 my instincts just kick off. Well, there was no banana path here, but that's the path I chose. Oh, okay, well, that's taken care of. What? Oh, I guess I pressed the button late. That's fair. It's, like, that's just, that's my general problem with this, it's that the screen is very compact. So, like, I understand, like, I don't know, I feel like your, your sprite, like, I understand why they're using these big fancy sprites, is that, you know, this is Donkey Kong Country. It, like, that's, that's the brand, it's the graphics looking like this. The silicon graphic or pre-rendered sprites. So, they kinda have to use huge prites like this, but I feel like the game would be a lot better if they didn't. You know, okay, so this is where the bananas led me, and now they're telling me to go this way, so okay, we'll do that. Look at that depressed bee. Alright, here we get a choice and a path. I took one, I don't know what it means. Flying through the bees, bees, and now you go down. Sure, I'll do that right into that B, please. See here now, here I feel like I'm getting in situations. See, the good part though is because the game is monochrome, you don't get invincible red bees. So you can just do whatever you want and get a one up somehow through it all. Gee, uh, there was a lower path where there could be a DK coin <laughs> or something. But there's nothing. Maybe a shortcut? I don't know, lower arrow, okay, there's money there, I almost got pricked, it's fine, I think this is where things re-meet, and I guess I won. I, this did not feel like a race. Screech is not very good in Game Boy form. <laughs> he tried his best, but his best, I don't know how good it is. Is it still, hey, it gets to steal, save for free here now. So, that's rad, and is it still just two dollars? Yeah. Okay, so they, they removed that gag. Wrinkly got better on the moral sphere, and here's Funkies if you want to. I guess we're gonna beat a normal game and see if you get a croc coin that way, and then I'm gonna lose all my lives for when we do the pose game. K rule duel. Oh, right, whoa, we're fighting in the mountain. Not in a copter. Alright, so you do this still, except the camera's a lot smaller. And. <laughs> The effect for your your win thing is kind of ridiculous. I kind of love it. Whoa, jeez. Yeah, see, like, we're very close to one another. Not on an emotional level. Okay. Ah! Like, I can see just the tip of your gun there. Alright. Okay. So something is happening. Okay, okay, alright. This is also happening. DK just happened. He's a ghost now. Alright. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to be comfortable with having K. Rule, like, off-screen. But I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not like he has, like, physical tails or anything. You just react to him shooting stuff. It's just that if he starts slipping around the screen, I like to see him, but... Whoa. But I guess he's just like a bigger projectile, really. That's how you are, Crocodile King. Whoa, that wasn't a lot of bullets. <laughs> That's as many patterns as we could think of. What? I got a money here in a corner. What? Wait, I won already? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! This fight barely happened! <laughs> I guess, like, I understand not having the the smoke effects and all, but hey, I beat Yoshi, it's all that really matters. And yeah, so we're gonna have DK coins and the bonus. Video game heroes! Yeah, now we're just smashed right into 
Wow. Alright, this is abrupt. Someone was in a hurry to get things done here. <laughs> like... So, yeah, the fight was a lot more cramped. It felt a lot more cramped, but it also, like, a third in length, it feels like, which... Alright. And I one-shot it. And guard is swimming in the air. What a crazy fish, Squitter lost all his pattern on his derriere. What a crazy spider, Ratly, that's not how you can move. You're supposed to move in a circle, there's Funky with the tube, kinda. This is kinda flying, and meanwhile we get like a low, low-fi rendition of this classic song. I don't know if it really survives. Batty, are we gonna go through it? Okay, we're starting with K. Rule, normally we like... I mean, normally we go in reverse order. Here's King Zing. He's a bee. Watch out or he'll steal your tree. Crow's kind of shoved in there. I don't know what the order is. Maybe they're in like... Internal programming order? <laughs> I don't know. This Plumbo's not a bad guy. He, he just wants money. He's neutral. Which I guess can make him bad guy depending on where we stand in terms of personal interest, but the fact that he does, like, you know, like, he's nice, well, you can be a bad guy and still be nice. I've always said that the alignment needs... So, you know the alignment chart? Like, you got good through evil, and you've got, uh, chaotic to lawful? I think we need to turn that into a cube and add uh, niceness. So, you know, uh, you know, that would go, like, basically from, uh, from adversarial to accommodating, you know? So you can be, like, chaotic evil, but also be accommodating, and you can also be lawful good adversarial. Like, I feel it's an ex- like, a lot of people tend to assume good equals uh, nice, evil equal mean, when it's very- not really that clear-cut most of the time, and this is why I feel like if more people acknowledge the Z-axis of the alignment chart, then there would be a lot more variety in uh, in roleplay situations. Like, I know some people realize that, but it's not always obvious to everyone. You know, people who are more uh, math-minded, like stats-minded, they'll go, no, evil is evil, evil is evil, good is good is good. That would permit a bit more flexibility. Alright, this was a weird, really weird space to put my tiny little, uh, my, my tiny little take here that's completely unrelated. But, I mean, it's the enemy parade. Like, oh, there we go, the enemy parade is abruptly over without really any sense of style. We're doing the credit now. It's using the, the, the bonus music. Grand Kirko! Apparently this is his first project? Was, 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 was porting tunes to the Game Boy. Man, what a way to start your day. Well, start your career, any of well, I mean, might be I might be inaccurate though. Secondhand knowledge that I just kinda like, Maybe didn't pay as much attention as needed, but here we go. These guys get thanked. It's presented by Nintendo. It is produced by Rare. I, I'm gonna keep my thoughts for this game. Uh, like when we beat the game for real, this did not feel like I beat the game. Like it seriously didn't. So yeah, everything is there. Let's just go ahead and open up the gate. See ya, silver, ya flea bags! Uh, Alright, here we go, here's all my money. Then we're just kinda here? Okay, and I can get... <laughs> that face. Yeah! 